Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be taking a look at a brand new, massive, super high-powered Ethereum miner. It is the most powerful Ethereum miner on the market, and it's from Forest Miner. The miner is called Forest EPU-1C. The hash rate is 2600 mega hash, which equates to 2.6 giga hash with a power consumption of 3700 watts. And it has four massive fans that are all capable of doing 9000 RPM. Now, Forest Miner is a newer company. They were founded and started in 2019, and it's it's a part of a group of members together from a bunch of other bigger companies, and they all got together, created this company. I've been talking to them back and forth for the last week, actually two weeks now, and I'm actually a huge fan. So if you guys are looking for a brand new Ethereum miner, you'd be able to take a look at this one. Now, I know a lot of people will be asking the questions about what happens when it switches from proof of work to proof of staking. Then you'd be able to simply just move this one over into to Ethereum Classic uh, because this one is in the algorithm of ET hash and ETC hash. So in today's video, we will be taking a look at their brand new website. And actually at the time of me recording this video, they are still going through updating a few things. We'll also take a look at their dashboard. There is a few things I do want to show you just to make sure that you have everything connected correctly. We'll also take a look at the state of Ethereum. As of everybody knows right now, uh, everything is just tanking, going down. Uh, it's right around that 200 weekly moving average, which was something that I kind of expected to happen back in November. I'm going to show you the pool of where it is sitting in. I'm going to show you how how it's done. I'm going to show you all the all the revenue for the past seven days so you know exactly how much it'll be able to earn per day. And I'll let you know the electricity cost and basically the full outcome of the full entire profit. And then I kind of broke it all down with how much we were able to get per day and what it translates to in dollars. So first off, let's take a look at their website. And if you are interested and you want to learn more, I will be placing this link below the video inside of the description. I also have additional videos coming out in the future. I'll probably do a 14 day uh, result as well as especially a 30 day result to show you how it's done for the last 30 days. But here's their website, forestminer.io. Uh, here's all the specifications right here. Here's a few of their images as well. So you can run this one sideways and you can put it horizontal if you would want to. Uh, and then if you do run it, uh, standing up, you actually technically want to have the, uh, uh, the, the PDUs on the bottom. So scrolling down on the website, this is all the specifications. So here's the product name. You also have the hash rate of 2600 mega hash. Uh, the power consumption right here is 3700 watts. It is a little bit higher than what I would like to see. But I also believe that there is some way that possibly and hopefully this miner is able to have different firmwares in the future that would be able to kind of help cut some of this down. So that is something that I am looking forward to in the future if that is something that's able to be done. It talks a little bit about the input voltage, the cooling and talking about the fans. And it is actually pretty heavy. I think this thing is sitting right around 30 kilograms, which is about, you know, 65, 66 pounds. So it is heavy, but luckily it does have a couple handles that you're able to use that you can move it around and, and switch it if you need to switch around your power cables, things like that. Now going back to that input voltage and what you would want to take a look at for your outlets. So the ones that I am plugged into, there is two power cables that's plugged in on this one. And the power uh, setup that I have is 20 amp with 240 volt, just so I can make sure that I'm covering covering everything. I believe you only really need to have 16 amp or higher. So in this way, you would be able to have enough power going into the machine. So that is one thing that you want to take a look at. Uh, and also too, this thing is pretty loud. So mine is sitting in the garage currently. If I'm sitting in the living room, I can hear it through the garage door. So if you have a mining facility or a location, you can put it, then that's going to be a little bit more ideal than just sitting somewhere in your house. Uh, but also too, I also put on these vents. So I have 3D printed pieces that is covering both fans into one, pushing it out the window. So I have two of those set up. Uh, so in this way, all of that hot air is actually being pushed out of the window. So it's not just sitting in the garage and I don't have to vent the garage door and things like that. So a couple of things to think about when you get into these bigger mining rigs. So now taking a look over at TradingView of where Ethereum is sitting today, because everybody knows that the entire crypto market and stock market and economy just pretty much tanked. Uh, 
crypto itself went down all the way to the 200 weekly moving average, which was something I was expecting back in November that it was going to come down to here. And finally, we hit it. So we're not getting the big results and profits that we used to have. So back in the day, back in December, Ethereum was sitting anywhere, anywhere between 4,000 up to 4,700. And so the profits back then would be right around four times as much as it is right now. So back then, the profits for this miner would have been right around 120 to 130 dollars a day. Right now, it's sitting right around 41 dollars. But then when you put in the electricity, which it costs to run for 24 hours, the electricity cost is right around 10 bucks. So that means that my full end result profit per day as of right now is 31 dollars. Now, because the market is down, this is the best time to buy any mining rig. Because the market is down, there's not a lot of talk about it. And so this is when the prices of the miners go down because the market went down. Now, as the market goes back up, that's when the prices of the miners go back up as well. So all you have to do is if you are getting a miner in these days of these bear markets, hold on to everything that you mine, because even though it says you're getting $30 every day, uh, it, once it goes back up to where it was, it'll actually equate and equal to $120 per day that you've done it that full entire time as long as you hold on to everything that you mine. So that's a big thing a lot of people miss is they're like, oh, you're only getting $30 right now. No, once it goes right back up, it'll actually be 120 or 90 or 60, whatever it may be, whenever you sell those uh, mined coins, that's where it's gonna be at that price, not really at this price, unless if you're trading and selling these at these lower price points, which I don't know why you would. Uh, so here is uh, the pool that I am in. I am using F2 pool. I was about to use Poolin, but I wanted to go to a pool that has only this one miner itself and not Poolin where I have another. And I wanted to show you just the full results of only one. So you can see the total payout and the estimated, you know, everything, the settlement times, you know, of how we have done with this miner itself. You can see the average hash rate per day. And this one's supposed to be 2,600 mega hash so you can see we're right above 2600 we're right underneath it for for these days and this one we were above it and then here is all of the amount paid out and you also get a little bit of a bonus so when it comes down to the bonus of ethereum you have these numbers sitting right here so the amount that i'm getting per day is right around 0 0.036 0 0.035 0 0.035 0 0.033 0 uh, in a couple of these it i was moving it around switching a different position in the garage can't remember which day it was that's why it probably went lower a little bit uh, i have not touched it at all in the last 24 hours so this 0 0.036 is one that i think and suspect will be for the rest of these days also the difficulty will change a little bit because the market is down some people pulled out and not mining so that means that you'll be able to earn more if you still are and then here is where i converted it so i took that 0 0.036 number i pushed it over and this is what it's worth today uh sitting at 41 dollars and again the electricity cost will be right around ten dollars depending on what you pay uh, for your kilowatt per hour but the average is probably right around ten dollars so the end result profit will be 31 per day until the market goes back up and you can see that we are again one fourth of where we used to be so in theory if it goes back up to where it was you can just take this number and times it by four so now we talked about the website of where you can purchase or at least ask more information we also took a look at the market we took a look at f2 pool on where we were at so i am using uh, f2 pool you can use pool or some of the other ones if you want to as well you can take a look at the home and how everything is going uh, also one thing i want to mention is that when you're connecting it to a pool there is three dag files it has to download so it'll take about five to seven hours for it to fully stay on the pool you'll notice it goes up and then it kicks you off it goes up it kicks you off it goes up and it kicks you off it's because that hash rate there is downloading those three dag files and then it's going to stay uh, and, and do its thing this right here this down point and back up was another spot where it downloaded the most recent dag file and then it went right back up and it's doing its thing uh, and then we took a look at the equation. So now let's take a look at their dashboard and how you can log in and then how you can get this thing set up. So for the dashboard, the login info will be admin and then your password is admin123. And you just wanna put in this verification code that you see over here. Um, so let's do that and get this done. Uh, and then once you log in, uh, pretty much everything that you want to see to make sure that it is connected correctly will be this number right here in the middle. 
you want to make sure that you see its hash rate that it's going, which is 2.7 giga hash. Uh, here is the connection. This is the other most important thing to see. You want to make sure that there is a connection that is actively going on right now. And this is the pool that I'm using and the configuration that I'm using. Uh, and then you want to make sure that your cards are also reading and you're taking a look at their temperatures. You want to make sure that they don't, that they don't get too high. But right now it is super hot in Kansas. We're getting right around the temperatures of 93, 94, 95, 96 with a heat index, putting that an additional 10 more degrees. So we're right around a heat index of 103, 104, 105. So the garage is hot. I have most of the ventilation going out, uh, but that is why these are sitting hot and my fans are running quick. Now, if the miner's temperature was to go down, let's say I was mining this in December, these fan uh, speeds would be much, much lower. And then that also means that the, the sound coming from the miner will go down as well. So if you're mining in the summer and it's super hot, it will be louder than normal. And then once you have uh, a regulated, nice temperature room, let's say, then it's going to run more efficiently and a lot less uh, loud. It'll be a much more quiet. So this is their home page right here. This is the main dashboard. You also have a main control panel. So for the main control panel, you can see the device info, system version, things like that, the memory usage, and also the system reboot. So this is the system reboot that I use when I put in the configuration. So configuration is sitting right over here in ACC config. And this is where you want to put in that password one more time, which is admin one, two, three. And then once you put this in, this is where you're able to add in a history. So you're putting in your details. So this right here will be Ethereum. In the future, you'll also see Ethereum Classic. For your scheme, it just kind of depends on what you're using and where you're mining. So where I am mining is F2 pool. So I have to use Stratum 1. So for F2 pool, I'm going to put in Stratum 1 TCP. For the account, this is where you put in your account's name. Uh, and then this is going to be the server. So this is the server address. So the server address just means that when you go to F2 pool and you scroll down, this is where you use your Ethereum F2 pool 668. This is also the backup. So this will be your second. And then it depends on if you're in Europe, Asia, or North America. North America, you would use this one as your third. So as I was mentioning from before, you put in your account name, which this right here would be jimmypromo.001. The server is that website that I just got done showing you and then a password if needed. And then it'll be added right here. So this is like number one, number two, number three. So this was website one, two, three that I just showed you. And all you do is you hit add into current configuration. So once you add all three of them in, they go to their three parts. You can see them sitting right here. And this is what it, sh this is what it should look like. So if you are mining with uh, Ethereum on F2 pool, you can take a look at the screen. You can compare it with yours just to make sure it's correct. But all you do is you just add in the history here. It adds it in as one, two, three, and then you just move them down here. And that's pretty much it. Once they are all moved in, that's where you go back to main control panel and you hit reboot. You can do this reboot now, but I noticed that you're able to watch the process or the progress of it from the main control panel. From here, it just says it's rebooting and you don't really know when it's done or if it's done or the progress. But again, right here, main control panel, you're able to actually watch it go through. So basically the summary to end this video up is that here we are with a available miner today that you can get and purchase. This thing is the most powerful miner on the market. There is no Bitmain E9. That thing is just a Bigfoot. It's just a myth. It's never been seen, never been used, never been tested. It's only been talked about. This one is here. It's available. It's doing a fantastic job. The thing is super powerful. It is heavy. It is loud. Uh, and so you just want to make sure that you're getting ready for that. But it does a really good job with the outcome of of bringing out right around $30 of profit at the end of even putting in the electricity cost. Once Ethereum goes back up, that number will be about three or four times higher easier. So that means that these last seven days, instead of me earning $30 per day, it's more closer you know, to 90 to $120 a day if it goes back up to where it was which we all know it'll simply do that once it moves over into staking. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you appreciate this video, then more than likely you'll also appreciate this video. And I'll see you guys later.